Alright, so this is Mr. Active Cerebral back here. I was just thinking, probably a lot of you have Android phones and you'd like to do this while you're out and about. I can't talk about reliability because I've been having some problems, but it keeps getting better. So I just want to show you how to do it and you can try it for yourself, see how it works. There's this great program called ngrok that someone recommended on the Reddit forum. So I'm just going to go to that link real quick. And here it is. And I'm going to download the program. I have a Windows 64 bit. I'm going to download that, save it. Okay, and I'm just going to extract the folder, open that up, double click on it. It's going to open this command type window. All right, the next step, you just uh, you just need to type this. You just copy paste it. This code that basically just takes the current server you're running and displays it to your phone. Okay, he recommended this, but it doesn't work for me. Maybe, it, maybe it'll work for you, so I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to use the second line. Just paste that. Okay, so now we're up. So now it's got a link. The HTTP seem to be more reliable for me. So you're going to want to go to your phone and type this address, HTTP, double dot, slash, slash, and don't type this. It's not valid. It's not going to be active. It changes every time you run it. But your whatever comes up on your screen here, type this all the way up to dot .io. Don't type this last part. Just up to dot .io and run it. And once you do that, you'll see this Google Maps from step one. Oh, well, I, I closed it. Okay, so now, like we did in the first video, we had this thing that shows all the Pokemon on the map and how long they're there. And you can say get directions to go right to them. And there's some real gems here. I kind of want to go out. But anyways, on your phone, if you go to this link that I, I mentioned, or what, whatever shows up on your screen, it'll change each time. Once you connect, data will start showing here. It'll be copying pictures and icons and stuff. So once you do that, you're going to see this map on your phone. And then you can actually go out in the wild and it'll keep updating. And I'll, I'll show you. I'm going to switch over to my phone right now. Alright, so once you're in the Google Maps portion, you can see all the Pokemon. There's also an option that has a filter. And you can say, like, don't show me gyms or hide common Pokemon or notify a Pokemon. So, yeah. Anyways, so, so anyways, that's, uh, that's that. So good luck, get out there. And also I mentioned it was for Android iPhone works too. They both have internet. So anyways, um, yeah, good luck. Go have fun. So that's my screen. That's what it'll look like when you're out in the field. And you also might want to install a program like Caffeine that just keeps your computer up and running so it won't fall asleep, so it'll, it won't crash. And give me a thumbs up if you thought that was helpful, and I wish you the best in your Pokemon hunting. Till next time, Active Servo, signing off.